Hello everybody and welcome back to Inspired Celeb and in today's brand new video we'll be talking about how Charlie D'Amelio makes and spends her millions. This will be a pretty interesting video so please make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button to see more stuff like this and do make sure to go ahead and hit the bell icon to get notified every time we upload. Also make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment down below and without any further ado and without any more interruptions let's go ahead and get right into today's brand new video. Now, I am sure everyone here knows who Charlie D'Amelio is, so no introduction is actually needed for her. The thing that does need to be introduced, though, is how she actually earns her money. It is honestly crazy how people can earn money from simply posting a video of themselves dancing to a popular song on TikTok and have a chance to earn actually thousands, if not millions of dollars. Well, how is all of this done, though? How is this secret mastered? As I'm sure you've probably already guessed and probably already noticed too, Charlie hasn't been too keen on releasing her income information, so it's hard to pinpoint, but we can probably go ahead and put a pin on sponsorships. I mean, if you think about it, sponsorships have been a constant online presence for many, many years. I mean, just look at how every single YouTuber we knew for about a year and a half would not stop mentioning Raid Shadow Legends or even AFK Arena. The company would pay for the content creator to promote the game or even a product and then the product or game would get more users and consumers based on people using the link so it would be a continuous process of them asking creators to just make a simple video or an ad for them for maybe like 500 bucks and then they would get millions of dollars in revenue from the company. So how does Charlie spend all of that not so hard earned money as many people have to break their backs in construction sites and she just has to make a video, but regardless of how does she spend it? And as a 16 year old, Charlie probably doesn't have a huge say in where her money goes and she most likely leaves her finances in the hands of her parents and managers. And in December of 2020, the family sold their Connecticut home for $914,000 after two months on the market. And in order to support their daughter's careers, they headed west and upgraded to a $5.5 million mansion in the Hollywood Hills. I mean, although they don't own it outright, they are enjoying the 5,500 square foot contemporary space for an estimated $35,000 per month, which is so much money. But when she can, Charlie definitely isn't afraid to splurge on herself or the people she loves. And in August of 2020, she actually spoiled big sister Dixie and made sneakerheads green with envy by gifting her with a pair of Dior X Air Jordan sneakers worth about 30 grand. And despite the COVID-19 pandemic, she continues to travel for fun. And in January of 2021, the siblings posted pics from an extravagant influencer's vacation in the Bahamas. By the way, the trip did draw the ire of many social media critics, but the sisters never commented on the matter due to them potentially spreading the virus. Charlie's also getting an early start as a generous patron of the arts. I mean, this year alone, the professionally trained dancer donated $100,000 to the American dance movement. Her only stipulation to all that was that the money be divided 10 ways and granted to 10 separate national dance centers. One of the dance centers was actually grateful enough, and I mean, while it sounds like a lot of money, 100000 a mere and meager $10,000 is not a lot in terms of a full-grown business. That may help it stay on its feet for an extra couple of months, but after that, it's probably going under. With all this money she is throwing around, is she actually making enough for herself to survive? Well, I mean, of course she is. I mean, at age 16, she currently has an estimated net worth of $8 million, which is according to Celebrity Net Worth, although Forbes actually listed her as being worth half that in August of 2020, but things do move quickly in the world of social media, and it's probably gone up to maybe even $10 million by now. Anyways, guys, that is unfortunately all we have time for today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. We appreciate your viewership, and please don't forget to go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, comment something nice down below, and we will see you in the next video. Take care until then, and bye bye